went on my recruit visit, I did smoke marijuana with a couple of older players. And uh, I had sex with a female. This is what life was like for certain Oklahoma State football players from 2000 to 2011. A life full of perks, far beyond that of being simply the big men on campus. Sex is the main thing for a young man, right? <laughs> right? And I mean, a lot of people did get persuaded that way. Marijuana was very common among players on the team. It was most of the time it was given to us for free. Anything we wanted, we'd get, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't hard. During a 10-month long investigation, interviewing more than 60 former players, Sports Illustrated found widespread and blatant disregard of the rules. From academic misconduct and cheating, to a bonus system which paid athletes for performance, to enticing recruits to sign with the Cowboys using drugs, and in some cases, sex. And we look at all facets of, uh, of what happened at Oklahoma State. We've all heard about scandals involving academic misconduct and paying players. This has it all. And it really shows what happens when a big time college football program tries to get good really fast because there are tremendous incentives. Bottom dwellers in the Big 12 for decades, Oklahoma State wanted a winning program, which they built and quickly going from three wins to a Big 12 title in just a decade. In some ways, Oklahoma State fit the profile of schools that often cheat, which is that, you know, they're in a faraway place, they got good really quickly, and so that's sort of, uh, you know, some alarm bells. The interviews from this investigation paint a clear picture that the school acted on two fronts to build a winner, publicly infusing the program with the money to bring in top coaching talent like Les Miles, while outside of the public view, OSU went to extreme measures to find a way to win. So it was players that failed drug tests on the first day of orientation coming in and nothing happened to them because they were expected to be a top ranked player. We were in the limelight and they treated us like that, you know, everywhere. The impact of what took place reaches far beyond a football field in Stillwater, Oklahoma. For some players, there was a human cost from the corruption. I started selling drugs and started by robbing people. I'm working, make $12 an hour, you know, you could have been making millions. I'm trying to open up to them and then all they do is take away what they promised me. Yeah, it, it, it plays a major toll. If you told the average college football fan that players might get paid at big time schools and sometimes D's end up as B's and their drug problems within programs, I don't think anyone's necessarily gobsmacked. To me, what was the real takeaway and the real revelation in an unfortunate way was just the depth and breadth of the collateral damage. As one former OSU assistant said, the sad part is when the coaches were done, they threw the players away. For complete coverage of this investigation, check back to si.com slash OSU.